When a narcissist realizes they have lost why are you, why and how they give up and make you regret, a universal emotion has likely left its mark on all our lives, signaling the realization that past actions or inactions have led to unfavorable outcomes. This sentiment can deeply impact our mental well-being, lingering in our thoughts and emotions. In this exploration, we delve into the intriguing question of whether narcissists genuinely experience regret when they lose someone. To navigate this topic, it's essential to first grasp why people feel regret and whether they possess the capacity to transcend it. Regret often emerges from a sense of guilt or remorse, stemming from the belief that alternative actions could have been taken in the past. It can serve as a potent force for personal growth, propelling us toward different choices in the future. Yet for some regret evolves into a relentless cycle of self-reflection and self-doubt, with the ability to move beyond it, dependent on self-awareness and emotional intelligence. When it comes to narcissists, the question of genuine regret over losing someone unfolds as a complex puzzle. Narcissists function like parasites, attaching themselves to the lives of others to extract the energy and resources essential for their sustenance. They masterfully conceal their true predatory nature, projecting an aura of invincibility. However, beneath this facade lies a hollow shell brimming with paradoxical insecurity. This becomes their reality in the face of loss and sorrow. However, the domain of regret is not one that narcissists occupy in the same way as the rest of us. They lack the capacity to empathize with others or recognize the impact of their actions on those around them. Their concerns are solely centered around their own needs and desires, viewing others merely as tools to fulfill their objectives. Consequently, when confronted with loss, they do not harbor remorse or guilt, as they fail to acknowledge the agency and emotions of the individuals affected. By delving into the realm of regret within the narcissistic psyche, one can uncover the intricate layers that define their emotional constitution. This exploration provides insights into their inherent limitations when it comes to experiencing genuine remorse and empathy. Instead of feeling authentic regret, a narcissist is more inclined to simulate remorse as a manipulative tactic to regain control over the person they lost. Their goal may be to induce guilt or place responsibility on the individual for the loss, establishing a power dynamic in their favor. They might employ empty promises of change, flattery, or deceptive maneuvers in their efforts to reclaim the person. These expressions of regret lack a foundation in genuine emotions of remorse or guilt. The lingering question remains, do narcissists truly undergo regret when they lose someone? Regret does exist within their sphere, albeit in a distorted fashion. It is natural for individuals to question their decisions following setbacks, such as the conclusion of a relationship or the loss of a career. In my case, I find myself grappling with regret over my own inaction. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that the narcissistic viewpoint on regret diverges significantly from that of others. Their restricted field of vision resembles peering through a tunnel that only recognizes individuals and things of value to themselves. Only those actively serving their constructed self hold worth in their eyes. If you provided attention, money, sex, or any other form of supply fulfilling their demands, you were deemed valuable to them. This valuation wasn't rooted in genuine care or a desire for a healthy relationship, but rather because you satisfied their needs in ways their existing resources couldn't meet. Therefore, a narcissist's encounter with regret differs markedly from our own. When I express regret for losing someone, it's because I failed to manipulate the situation to my advantage, losing their continued compliance. It's an acknowledgement of the loss of value or benefits, rather than genuine emotional attachment or concern for the individual. 
They will seek out a new partner to satiate their insatiable need for attention, manipulation and praise. It's more convenient for them to retain an existing source of supply than to embark on the effort of finding a new one. Much like retaining an employee is simpler than going through the hiring process again. They might regret losing a reliable housekeeper or an automated cash dispenser, as they no longer have access to the services they provided. However, the remorse felt over losing a partner who showered them with unwavering affection or feeling guilty for relying on their presence is beyond their emotional capacity. In reality, a narcissist heavily relies on others to meet their needs, irrespective of the specific individual involved. Finding a replacement for you is a breeze, as long as the new person can cater to the narcissist's demands. In this realm, genuine care and mutual concern are non-existent. Instead, it's a landscape of pure egotism, where individuals prioritize their own goals without regard for others. An extreme form of egocentrism. As a result, a narcissist doesn't experience regret in the same way you do. Even if they express remorse, it lacks authentic feelings of loss, regret or guilt. It's more of a realization that they should have kept the source of supply in their life to fulfill their own desires. Following a breakup with a narcissist, they may attempt to reach out with excuses or grand revelations, like claiming divine intervention or newfound enlightenment. However, these efforts are mere manipulative tactics crafted to make you feel inadequate and relinquish hope regarding their feelings. Due to their lack of ethical foundations, a narcissist is fundamentally incapable of experiencing true regret. As human beings, we possess a moral compass that guides us shaping our understanding of right and wrong, success and failure, and how we should treat others. Unfortunately, a narcissist lacks this capacity. Their sole concern revolves around self-preservation, even when faced with unfair circumstances, threatening their fabricated reputation. They simply don't care about the impact on others, leaving them devoid of any genuine remorse. When someone fails to genuinely appreciate you for who you are, mourning the loss becomes futile, as they only aimed to exploit the energy and resources you provided. It's crucial for other survivors to understand the mechanics behind these false narratives and reclaim their own well-being. I'm sincerely interested in hearing about your personal experiences and the words your narcissists use to express their supposed remorse. Please feel free to share your story by leaving a comment below. On that note, I'm excited about delving deeper into this topic in an upcoming episode. Until then, our journey toward healing remains ongoing. To sum up, narcissists may express regret over losing someone, but their understanding of regret differs significantly from ours. Due to their lack of empathy, narcissists struggle to grasp the emotional toll their actions inflict on those in their orbit. They harbor no genuine remorse or guilt when losing someone, viewing individuals as disposable tools. Their displays of sorrow are mere manipulative strategies to regain control. While they may feel distress over the harm inflicted on others and its potential consequences for them, their remorse lacks authenticity. Therefore, it's crucial to recognize these warning signs in relationships with narcissists and guard against falling victim to their manipulation. We value your thoughts and inquiries, so please share them in the comment section if you found this video informative. Until we reconnect, our journey toward healing continues. Have a wonderful day.